the contemporary Christian life based on the book of Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 there is no one in this universe who does not worship God everyone worship God everyone is seeking for their own satisfaction and that's the reason there have been so many religions around the world in seeking contentment in seeking one satisfaction there have been so many religions happened in this world in our context we worship God we become Christian because our forefathers are becoming Christian they worship and we go for worship still then we seek the faults of others criticizing others condemning others and so on that's the contemporary Christian of our community today so I just want to tell you one small story that once upon a time men does not need God because they are with God and today we need God because we are no longer living together with God no peace no comfort no love so everyone starts seeking after God in their own ways we see in the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23 there was an old lady husting rice and the heaven was so close that when she started husting rice the heaven was heated and by and by the heaven just go far away and in another in another story it was told that a lady was coming out with a full pot of milk on her head and just she passed by where heaven was little closer and the heaven hit her pot and it break so in anger the lady sought at the heaven to go far away that's how heaven goes far away from us that was the story we heard that heaven was so close to us before that we don't need God God was with us but today because of our sin heaven has gone far away which means not the literal sky the atmospheric sky but it means the presence of God has been far away from us because of our sins because sin separates man and God so the reason Jesus came to this earth was not to spread religion or denomination but to bring relation with everyone who are willing to believe and believe and that relationship is not for time being it's an eternal relationship that's called salvation so we have another questions here what is sin and i want to talk about two type of sin one is forgivable sin and the other one is unforgivable sin in matthew chapter 12 verses 31 and 32 in the days of jesus ministry here on this earth you might reject him but we need is to believe in the Son and in the work of the Holy Spirit in our present days. So if we are not believing till today, that unbelieving sin cannot be forgiven. Let us thoroughly look into the Ten Commandments that God has given for us. I am the Lord thy God. Thou shalt have no other gods before me we knew it that we have no other gods but for example if you are smoking can you just spend your whole day without smoking this is my question if you cannot spend your day without smoking or if you cannot spend your day without any of your uh, nut, drinking wine or whatever the things that is against the word of God you may not have another God but in reality you have that another God that is you are worshiping tobacco because you cannot spend your day without that so you have another God you have broken the first commandment second thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain but why did you add God's name in songs why did you add and why did you just re-modify the songs of praises to God in songs 
unnecessary promise with anyone in the name of God. Taking the name of God in vain in so many places, in so many ways. So we have broken this commandment as well. And the other one, thou shalt keep the Sabbath day holy. Keep this day of the Lord holy. But why did you walk on Sunday? This is another question. The other one, thou shalt honor thy father and mother. But why did you lie to them? Why did you cheat? And why did you lose your love for them? Have you loved them as much as they love you? These are some of the questions we have to ponder. Also, thou shalt not kill. But why people cut short their life by being unfair to themselves? You drink, you kill yourself. You smoke, you kill yourself. You are indulged with drugs, you kill yourself. You cut off your life short. That means you have broken the commandment not to kill. And next, thou shalt not commit adultery. What about the last lies that you have looked upon someone? We have to be very careful about that. Thou shalt not steal. Why did you cheat? Why did you walk in the skin? Thou shalt not bear false witness against your neighbor. You backbite. And do not let thyself blast after the neighbor's wife. But why? People are not satisfied with their loved ones till today. Why? Why? Why are the questions for these contemporary Christians today? Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, nor his farm, his cattle, nor anything that is his. But why did you take which is not yours? You hurt animal? Not only this, why did you disrespect the anointing of God, your leaders? You have no honors. Why? And what about reading your Bible? Why is it very hard for you to come to church? Why can't we be faithful? And how about our prayer life? But the consequence for all these things is to be paid by dad only. So my dear friends, it's time being a contemporary Christian. We have to examine ourselves as it is said in 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. Examine yourself. We have to check within ourselves whether the living sacrifice we met today is acceptable and perfect will of God or not. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2, it should be perfect will of God. It should be acceptable. But we have to examine. 2 Corinthians 13 5 says that. Examine whether your sacrifice is perfect whether your sacrifice is acceptable, whether your sacrifice is the will of God or not. We have to examine and we have to question within ourselves. I don't mean that I'm perfect, but I'm questioning within myself as well. Why all this? And why have we been breaking all the Ten Commandments? After all these examinations, if you are such a person where sacrifice being accepted by God, you will automatically in practical with the great commissions that is in Matthew chapter 28 to go preach the message of forgiveness the hope of life the great salvation the greatness of our God if we were among those people who have been breaking the Ten Commandments for our life it would be just as the story in the beginning we heard that heaven would always be far away from us and we would blame somebody we would bless somebody the cost of having been heaven been far away from us but my dear friends let us bring that heaven that has gone far away from us let us stay together with the heavens which means let us ask forgiveness from god let us examine ourselves that our living sacrifice be perfect and acceptable in the sight of god and let us continue to praise Continue to say that how great God you are.